Paragon Performance here. We're in the dyno cell today with our ProCharge car, working on doing some tuning for it. We wanted to give you guys an update, let you know where we're at, how things are going, what it's kind of looking like before we really do a final video and kind of go over all of it. Now we're tuning for the Pro Charger on this car, but this also kind of lays the foundation for any boost application that we're going to be doing, whether it's twin turbo, single turbo, or different superchargers that we might come across on these cars. Tuning an NA engine for boost or an NA ROM for boost is kind of a whole thing. It's quite a bit different than when you're just bolting on, even doing heads, cam, different fuel types like you've seen in our other videos. When you start to put boost to an engine or a ROM that wasn't built for it, there's a lot of things you have to deal with and take into account. So it's a pretty complicated thing and we're really going to take our time on it and make sure that everything is perfect before we offer that up to the public. RC8 was actually one of the first ones to get a Pro Charger on it, so we've had it on here for a very long time. Initially, we tested it with some control modules that would delay the ignition and clamp different signals, and then we tested it with Pites' Delta Control Module, which gave us a bit more control. And finally, Pro Charger worked on developing a flash tune for the ECM. We had to mail the ECM off to get that, get it back and put it in. But they did develop a tune finally that could go with the Pro Charger and was kind of a one size fits all. So we tested that as well. As we've taken this car through all those phases, it's definitely gone from frustrating to less frustrating to getting better and better. And the last iteration of the flash from Pro Charger was a huge step in the right direction since that was actual tuning. The problem with that is it didn't offer any customization. We couldn't edit that tune. We couldn't adjust it for fuel types, for different conditions, for individual cars, for you know maybe different modifications that you might want to do above and beyond the Pro Charger. We were pretty limited. Now with HP tuners unlocking the ECM on their own, they provide full tuning solution here that we can get in and we can actually adjust everything. So we started doing our own tune for this car at that point. Now that we have full control of the tune, we can really dial this car in exactly as we want to. And so far, it's going really, really well. We've gained some power, we've gained some consistency, and we've gained some drivability. And that's not to knock the tune that we got from Pro Charger because it was very good, it just wasn't customized. We couldn't really go in here and apply all of our knowledge, all of our ability from tuning C7s that we wanted to apply to the C8. But now we can do that and we can get that extra benefit from that. As far as the tuning goes on here, it is very similar to an LT1 C7 tune in terms of how it's laid out and how everything works. Now there are some differences that the C8 has, both obviously from the transmission control and as well as in the tune itself, there are some things that are different. So we're still working with HP tuners on that, getting some of that stuff flushed out, sorted out so we can do boost with these cars really well. But ultimately, putting boost to one of these is very much like the projects we've done where we've boosted an NA C7. So we've got a lot of experience there that we could put into this tune to begin with. And right off the bat, like I said, the car runs and drives great. No check engine light, no throttle limits. Very consistent from run to run. We're just at a point now where we're doing the fine touches, making sure everything is perfect from startup to cruise. to tip in throttle, throttle response, shifting the gears. We want this car to feel like it's completely stock, so you wouldn't even know there's a Pro Charger on it until you get the power in, put your foot down, and really feel the difference. That's what we're going for here, and we're getting very close. We just need a bit more time to refine that and get it exactly where we want. So that's where we are with things right now. If you have a Pro Charger on your car, or Turbo, or Boost, and you're interested in getting custom tuned, definitely drop us a line, get on the list, and we'll keep you guys updated. And as soon as we're ready to start taking on customer cars, we will let you guys know. If you guys have questions in the meantime, feel free to give us a call, drop us an email, or leave it in the comments. We'll do our best to get those answered. Once we get everything finalized on this car, we'll do a full video to show you all the results, the before, the after, and what you can expect out of a particular Pro Charger tune as well as other force induction tunes that we start to do from here.